International shipping is often out of sight, out of mind. But on the high seas and along our coasts, ships are the main source of greenhouse gases and air pollution. This map shows carbon dioxide emissions from the global shipping fleet in 2015. We developed this map using satellite ship tracking data and our systematic assessment of vessel emissions, or SAVE, model. As you can see, ships emit CO2 nearly everywhere, and that goes for other air pollutants as well. Note the heavy concentrations near the coast, where emissions degrade air quality and harm human health. While nations have committed to reducing their greenhouse gas emissions under the Paris Agreement, the international shipping sector was left to develop its own strategy, which the International Maritime Organization did in April 2018. The IMO strategy aims to reduce international shipping's greenhouse gas emissions by at least 50% by 2050 compared to 2008 levels, and to completely eliminate them as soon as possible this century. Completely decarbonizing the international shipping sector will be a monumental task. Current IMO regulations reduce the carbon intensity of new ships, but ignore the existing fleet. Because ships can last for 20 to 30 years or more, it's important to make new ships and existing ships as efficient as possible. To learn more about recent trends in greenhouse gas emissions from ships and IMO's initial greenhouse gas strategy, visit our website.